Hello and well, welcome to today's video. I'm standing right outside Plum Condo Central Westgate Phase 1 and I'm going to be showing you around a $200 condominium unit located in this building right behind me over here. It is right next to Bang Pai BTS station on the Purple Line and it's adjacent to the Central Westgate shopping mall along with a few other small markets located in the vicinity with BB Market located about 10 to 15 minutes away from here. But without further ado, let's go on inside and check out this $200 dollar condominium unit. All right, so the first place I'm showing you around is the Sky Lounge. Um, it's a pretty big space. You can come out here, smoke, take a look at the view. There's this really nice, intricate kind of metal style bench over there. Over here, we've got a few sunbeds too one two and i think there's a further lounge area somewhere just over there which we'll show you around so let's go in through this door and take a look at it now if you would like to follow me all right welcome to the boxing slash muay thai mma facility we've got a boxing ring here very small in size but it's pretty decent um you could possibly do muay thai in here we've got a punching bag on my right hand side here as well Oh, it's nice and soft, so you can actually use bare knuckle. You don't need to get boxing gloves. Yeah, it's pretty good as well. Usually like boxing bags like this tend to kind of fall over, but there's quite a big weight here supporting it. So you can punch this as hard as you want, kick it as hard as you want. It's all right. I think I just broke my foot doing it. Um, all right, we'll head over to here. We've also got another boxing bag on the other side as well. And as you can see over there, we've got one, two, three air conditioning units to really keep this place cool when you're exercising. We've also got shelves, which I guess can be kind of used as like storage units when you're in here. Uh, do they have any sort of sound system? I'm not sure, but they do have LED lights along here. So at night you can come here and exercise as well. With the money in which you save getting a condo in Bangkok, you could possibly hire a Muay Thai instructor here to come teach you a few moves. Why not? All right, let's head on to the next facility, which is just next door. Okay, so this is the dance studio or can be also used as a yoga studio, I don't know. It's pretty much empty, you've got a yoga ball over there, a huge mirror that goes right across the wall to see yourself dancing, to see yourself exercising. Very nice, very simple. And again, just like you saw with the previous room, you also have from floor to ceiling windows. It's hard to make out where Bangkok is, but if my memory serves me correct, I think it's in that direction over there because the BTS goes along this direction. And also, there are a few skyscrapers in the distance, but it's very overcast today. It's very cloudy and misty. Anyway, next facility. Before we head to the next facility, I just want to show you the bathroom and the sauna here. I don't know why the sauna is out of service, but usually this should be functioning. Um, but yeah, you've got changing rooms and a place to take a shower right next to the facilities, which is pretty decent. Men's and women's is segregated. <laughs> Don't mind the worker cleaning in the back, but we've come to the other side of this 37th floor where the facilities are located. And uh, it's almost like a mirror image, but the Sky Lounge is a lot bigger on this portion of the side. It's nice, it's really big. A lot of real estate for a rooftop garden. All right. Let's now head on to the Infinity Edge Pool, which is one more floor above this one, located on the 38th floor. Wow, the sun's starting to come out, so it's getting pretty hot up here. Let's quickly head on over inside. Oh, before we head to the Infinity Pool, through here is almost like a kitchen area for all residents to use. It's quite a big kitchen area. We've got your sink here, an extractor there, but I don't see any hobs or anywhere to actually cook. So I don't know why they would have this huge extractor here. And again, a wonderful view. Wow, I can see a pagoda from here. It's really nice. There's the pagoda. All 
All right, so we've got to take our shoes off before we go to the Infinity Edge pool. So let's go on up. Oh, the gym's just over there, but we'll come down to that once we're done looking at the pool. It's 38 degrees Celsius here in Bangkok. It is sweltering hot at the moment, and uh, to have an Infinity Edge pool located on the 38th floor, ah, oh, it's just a dream, it's luxury. I can feel that breeze. Oh yeah. What a way to cool down on a hot summer's day. I mean, it's summer here in Bangkok all the time, pretty much. Woo! See, I told you it's a strong breeze. Look at this. Of the entire condominium, this would probably be my favorite facility. Um, it's literally the most cool up here. You've got the pool right here. This is where I'd be spending the most of my time if I was living in this condominium unit. It is an infinity edge pool because the water does run right off the edge. We also do have three sunbeds here and a sofa couch over there. Two of them right next to each other. You've even got a view of the BTS from the Infinity Edge pool. On a clear blue sky day here in Bangkok, you can actually see Bangkok skyline in the distance over there. It's really beautiful. This Infinity Edge pool is pretty much the best place to take photos for your Instagram. Tell people at home in the UK and America and Europe, you're living the life here in Bangkok. All right, time to go for a dip. <laughs> I wish. I don't have any trunks on. If I had to estimate, I think the length of this pool is around about 20 meters in length, um, approximately about 1.3 meters deep, 1.4 meters deep. That's the typical pool depth size here in Bangkok. And if you actually come this way, you've got a view of the twin condominium of this building right next door, just over there. It doesn't take up a lot of the skyline view at all. It's very very slim in profile. But there is a 7-Eleven here, which you can actually access. It's, it's in the next building, but with a 7-Eleven app, you don't even need to walk next door. If you spend a minimum threshold, I think of 100 bar, you can get 7-Eleven to deliver right to your door. So the convenience is there. You don't even need to get out of your condominium. And there's also a vending machine downstairs from 7-Eleven that does like takeaway meals, fizzy drinks, soft drinks, water, chocolate bars it's all there two hundred dollars a month i cannot stress enough we also do have some lockers up here along with a shower so you don't need to go to the changing rooms downstairs the showers on that side and the changing room hopefully no one's in here good <laughs> it's just there uh, with every condominium here in Bangkok, they always give you like a pH level of the water in the pools. And uh, from what I can read on this water standard indicator on the wall here, it's looking around about 7.8 pH. Oh, this other one is telling me the amount of chlorine being used in the pool. Oh man, there's no wind right now. So look, at, look how beautiful the pool looks. Look, 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 take a look at this. The water is so still right now. For a condominium like this, with this sort of facilities closer to Bangkok, you'd be paying in the range of $500 to $600 easily. But here, it's only $200. I mean, what more could you want? You've got a BTS Purple Line that connects you to Bangkok along with the Central Westgate shopping mall, one of the biggest shopping malls in all of Thailand. And I actually visit Central Westgate quite frequently because of the amount of restaurants there are down there. I really love to eat sushi at Central Westgate, to which I might make a future video on my favorite sushi restaurant here in Thailand, and it's in Central Westgate. The last facility we've yet to check out is the gym, so we're gonna head there now, which is located again on the 37th floor, one floor below this one. Um, I'm a little bit wet because it started raining and I was still upstairs at the Sky Lounge, but this is the gym. It's of a pretty decent size, right? It's not too small and it's not too big. I've definitely seen gyms a lot smaller in Bangkok than this. And you might've seen that on the channel, but I think this gym is around about twice the standard size of a gym in Bangkok condominiums. And it's nice. Look, these are really big. Look how, look how chunky and hardcore these treadmills are. This is not your average treadmill that is pretty cheap it's 
pretty big and a pretty good brand. And same as this one. Look at that. I could do a half a marathon on here. I wouldn't have any problems with it. Does the mat slip? No. So we've got one, two, three treadmills. There's another treadmill here, but it's not as hardcore as those three. I think those three machines are new here. I'm not sure. Then we've got your standard shoulder press, your quadricep machine, your leg extension machine, and your bench press. And finally, your flies for your pecs and your back. But yeah, but take a look at the view. That's Westgate down there. How big it is. It's huge. And then there's the BTS again. <laughs> Gotta love the BTS. And then you've got one, two air conditioning units in here, along with a TV. Oh, I forgot to mention there's also like a little mirror here and a few dumbbells there as well if you ever need to do some bicep curls. But yeah, this gym is like a 360 degree observatory. It's really nice from up here. And the views during sunset are, are beautiful. The sun sets in that direction over there. It's around about 1 p.m. right now, so we're nowhere near sunset, so I can't show you that, guys. All right, that's it with the gym. Let's now head on over to the 27 square meter one bedroom apartment, which is located on the 27th floor, I believe. That's funny how those two numbers coincide, 27 square meters, 27th floor. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now, I should tell you that there isn't anything special about this bedroom. It's a one bedroom, 27 square meters. It's not very big. It's basically there to have a roof over your head, essentially, and get some sleep. You're not really going to be spending a lot of time in your condominiums if you're in Bangkok. You've got too much to see out there to stay in your room all day. Anyway, nice little touch sensor here. Notice how all of the facilities will have this sort of register that has like scan detection to let you through. All right, this is the one bedroom, 27 square meter condo unit that is up for $200. We've got a sofa on the right hand side here, along with your TV set and your internet. Um, not a lot of going on here. We've got this wallpaper fitted all throughout the condo unit. And then just over here, we've got your kitchen unit. There's no stove in this unit. And we've got your table there, along with a fairly decent sized balcony on this side, which is accessible via this door here with your air conditioning units outside. So you can actually stand out here, go for a smoke if you're a smoker. I'm not. Um, got a fridge unit in the center of the room. And then through here is the bedroom. A fairly decent sized bedroom. Double bed here along with your windows there. Your air conditioning unit blowing right onto you during the night, so not hot. And we've got a place to do your morning routine and a full size integrated wardrobe. There we are. And then behind this door is where you have the bathroom. And that's pretty much the unit. $200, great value, I would say. And uh, if you're coming here to live as an expat or for a couple of months, um, I think this place is not too bad, not too shabby. You'll save yourself a lot of money and you've got connections to Bangkok, Westgate, and yeah, it's kind of like in the rural side of Bangkok, which is really nice. But that's it, I'm gonna be wrapping this video up here. Um, have I missed anything else out? There is parking with this condominium unit, which is located downstairs. There is a shuttle bus that takes you down to the end of the road where you can walk to the BTS or to Central Westgate. Well, that's it, folks. If you want any further information on this place or you have any inquiries, contact the email in the description below. But as always, many thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Many thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.